is up? Marissa here. Y'all might know me by my drifting desk where I help you conquer college, but I am here to do a new video, well, kind of an updated video from one that I've done years back that y'all absolutely loved, okay? I took you to some of the cheaper stores around me to shop for dorm stuff and y'all loved it because dorm room shopping ain't cheap and so I tried to help you give you some ideas on how to do DIY hacks or just saving money while doing this and I again that was years ago so I'm gonna do an updated version today for y'all I'm thinking about doing two different videos today so you might see me in the same outfit and do videos because I want to do kind of a cheaper side where I take you to five below Dollar Tree even Walmart stuff like that cheaper stores where you can get some nice stuff but then I also want to do kind of an updated video on where you can get nice stuff for a little bit more money of course the more money usually you get better quality so it kind of it's a it's a pro con kind of thing it depends on what y'all want so I'm gonna do both videos today um, they're just gonna be separate so there'll be a cheaper side and a kind of more expensive side on where you can get your dorm stuff and ideas and stuff that I would buy first up we are here at five below because I absolutely love this store it is so trendy so cheap little literally everything is five dollars and below that's the whole point of the the name I just I just love the store it has a whole bunch of cute knickknacks cute little dorm decor they are perfect for dorm room styling all that good stuff so I'm gonna take y'all in and we're gonna go see what's up so literally I just walked in here and they already have um, like these little mini bins here I see a lot of these kind of prints at Target um, but again they're three dollars here well at Target they can be five or fifteen they have different sizes so they have like these bigger ones that actually I do own and they have the medium ones that I just showed you and then they have even tiny ones for little cosmetics that you can use y'all they can be super useful for like the tops of your closets or even on your desk and stuff like that um, definitely depending on what you have in your dorm room check out what's in there before you go buy some stuff but bins I am a bin hoarder <laughs> Another thing that they have right here, which I thought was really cool, is actually a new kind of um, shoe rack. It's like sideways in this thing, but it's like a little felt shoe rack. These are actually really cool. You can also use them for clothes because of their material. Another thing that they have that I just kind of noticed is like this grid wire crate. You can put one of the little bins inside, but as you see, they turned it like sideways so you can use it as a shelf as well. And I think that's so smart. And I don't know if you can tell in the pictures, but they're attachable so you can build on and keep making more and more of them. So you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. And then they have all of these kind of bins. Of course, you can buy bins anywhere. These are usually universal sized. So if you don't like their colors, go to Target or something and get more colors or go anywhere else to get more colored bins. I might have to get one. They have this thing where you can kind of build your own lamp. And I actually did this before a couple years ago. They didn't have these cool little frames before. It was just kind of a basic lamp but as you can see in the picture they look really cute so you could get your lamp base so I might have to upgrade switch in that side of purple lamps. Ooh, they have really cute and really soft blankets for five dollars as well as little furry pillows depending on your dorm theme they definitely have a lot of colors I might have to get this pink one and they have these cute little footstools I don't I wouldn't buy one but they're absolutely gorgeous we have we're getting a futon in my room this year so even if we put one on like the end of the futon you have like a little foot rest in your futon. It's it's usable. They do have some cute little acrylic trays if you need stuff to organize your makeup. Honestly, like I would say, and I'm gonna show you because I actually bought them, is there's cute acrylic trays at the Dollar Tree that you can get to organize makeup and just really anything. I got six of them to organize my makeup, but you could get one of those on top of it so you could hold like lipsticks and stuff. So you can hop around between stores. They also have some mirrors, which would be nice. That way you don't have to go to the communal bathroom every time you wanna do your makeup. These ones are definitely good for desk or even in a bathroom if your dorm comes with the bathroom you can get them to hold like q-tips little cotton balls for your makeup you can put lipsticks in here you can put pencils you can put literally anything you can put your desk stuff on your desk really universally you can use it for lots of things so even if you want to you get like two or three and while you guys are shopping you know you got this okay just wanted to let you know you got this I believe in you I like these wire ones I used to have so they have more this is kind of the lamp that I got before it's like a basic lamp post with a basic black but they have cuter ones with like this weird circular base they also have um, these kind of lamps which are super trendy super cute I like these ones and they even have cool ones these look like they hang so I don't know if you can use them in your dorms but they're still super cute because you can like hang them or set them down and they're like geometrically shaped I don't know but they're super cute 
These over the door hangers I used like crazy in the dorm room. Um, we usually put our towels on them. You can also use over the door hangers. My sophomore year dorm had a bathroom in it, so we got one of those to hang over the door. That way we could put all our like shower stuff and even makeup stuff in the pockets or even our shower shoes, loofahs, all that kind of stuff. Or even put one on each side and we thought about using it for snacks. You can put a lot of your chips or granola bars and stuff like that in the back of a 24 over the door organizer. They have cute little decorative frames if you are one of those people that love to hang pictures in your room or have something on your desk. They have these cute little trays that you can put little items in like your rings. They have like unicorn ones. I like the kitty <laughs> I actually bought one of these my freshman year to go in my closet or my sophomore year and they worked wonders I put sweaters in it towels in it and all this different stuff in here Y'all look they have little succulents and they're fake so that way you can't kill them <laughs> But I did get like a locker shelf that's supposed to go into like your high school locker and stuff But I got one and set it up inside of my desk um, in like a shelf and that way I had kind of shelf storage so I could put books on top and books on bottom so I could grab them all without actually stacking them. All right y'all, so that's store number one down. We are gonna head to another new store to show you some more stuff that you could do on the cheap side. On to store number two of today, we're going to Dollar Tree. Y'all know how much I love my dollar stores so I have to bring you here. So something as simple as like these four packs of like tiny little bowls can be used as like desk organizers. You can spray paint them any color that you'd like to get them to match like your room scheme. And then literally if you just like set them out, you can put your paper clips, then you can put your push pins, and then you can put your binder clips and all these little things in them. And I guess I might as well share my little secret. I actually bought these um, little pom-poms my sophomore year and put them up in my dorm and Taylor Tower. And then I got the bigger pom-poms and hung those up too so that I could have like a really accented like corner ceiling part above my bed so also another little like dorm hack that i used to do is i used to get the little like stones and stuff from here so they have different colors and cute little stuff and then i'd get like a cute little glass jar and i fill them with them and then you can either put your pens your pencils i actually put my makeup brushes and stuff like this i actually got this black sand because my room colors were like black and pink so i love that the dollar store is starting to get more like natural colors because usually they're all about like these weird funky colors that don't always go but these bins are super cute and they're a really good size so you should look into getting some of these if you want to because they're cheaper than the five below. Of course, a dollar versus five dollars isn't that bad, but they do have natural colors if you're going for it. They have some wire bins, some circular bins. They even have a bin like this that has handles, oh, if I can reach it, has handles on it that I would use as like a shower caddy if you're really going for like super safe budget on a shower caddy. That's super simple. Should I do the little ugly location pretty picture challenge while I'm here? <laughs> little like acrylic bins like these like super colorful these ones are perfect to go inside like your desk drawers because they're really shallow enough to go in your desk drawers and they can match your color scheme and you can put literally anything in there your tapes your note cards your post-its your index cards literally anything pens and pencils you can just organize your drawers with little acrylic bins from the dollar store these little baskets with the handles are perfect to put over top of your um, closets if they're really high that way you can get a little stool but then you can reach the handle and pull them out instead of like spilling everything everywhere when you go to like try to grab a bin from like the top of it and if you're not interested in velvet hangers they do sell counts of eight for like a dollar here you can buy regular hangers y'all you don't have to get velvet ones of course they are smaller so they do save space in your tiny closets but it is not necessary i still use these but i am looking into getting velvet ones so i can't lie <laughs> Like I mentioned in Five Below, I would highly recommend getting over the door hooks for like your towels and stuff on the back of your bathroom or even just on the back of your regular door to put like your hoodies or jackets, rain jackets, umbrellas, little stuff like that. They have plastic colored ones, but they also just have regular metal ones. So, so something as simple as this napkin holder, I actually use to put my makeup palettes in so that way they can sit up on my desk and they have this cute little like, I don't know, effect, whatever, it's cute. They also have these cute little bins again that you can put inside your desk drawers to organize your desk. This is all kind of like the kitchen stuff, but you don't have to use it for the kitchen. Now this is one of the most simplest but like cutest hacks ever that I love from the dollar store is getting like their liners. They have cute patterns and stuff and putting them inside of your drawers of your dressers if they come, inside your drawers of your desk, at the bottom of your closets to put your shoes on. Literally put these anywhere because you don't know who was in there before you and you don't know what they did in there so it might be a little dirty. So I don't know if everyone bought them up at this location but these are like the mini acrylics that I told you they had for like your makeup. They usually have little drawers but I don't see any left so they might just be left with these but I'll show you mine at home because I them from the dollar store and they might be at your location number one dorm necessity is shower shoes best place to get them is at the dollar store of course because all you're gonna be wearing them is in dirty shower water so why spend a lot of money on them people look gross and you don't know what they do in them okay don't touch that floor so that is it at the dollar tree we have one more store that i want to take you to on like our budget side so let's go making a quick pit stop hi can i please get a skittles freeze please thank you 
Okay, so this has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the video that I'm filming, but obviously I stopped at a pit stop to get a freeze because it's happy hour and they're a dollar. And I flew up to the window to give him my money and the guy was like, oh, do you need any sauce for that? I said, no, you know, I just got a freeze, so I don't put the sauce in the drink. I mean, I don't know who does. I you know, Just making small talk, you know, conversation and stuff. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Your eyes are just so mesmerizing. And I just forgot what I was saying. And I'm like, thanks. It was really weird, really awkward, and then I just drove away. But now that that's over, <laughs> we can get on with the video. And our third stop of the day is going to be good old Walmart. So Walmart has these really cute um, like ottoman toppers. You could like kind of mix and match, I guess. So if you wanted to get like a normal bottom, you can get like a colorful top. So that's really cool that they allow you to kind of customize them. So Walmart's definitely gonna be your cheapest bet for getting your Twin XL bedding. Of course, out of like the three stores that I've showed you, Dollar Tree and Five Below don't have bedding. So like Walmart's your only bet for cheaper stuff. One thing that I would definitely highly recommend for y'all is a Twin, Twin XL, cause that's the size of all of your dorm beds, a mattress pad. Because I can literally guarantee you that all those beds are so uncomfortable. Get a mattress pad. I bought one, so definitely, definitely, definitely get one. So someone had this part like swooped up, and I thought it just said like hell. And I was like, what kind of pillow? But it really says hello, so. I mean, school is practically hell, so kind of the same thing, right? You know, if you're really like on a budget, I've seen people use these ice cube trays as like jewelry holders. If you put like your rings in different necklaces in different areas, and then you can put it in the drawer of your desk or something, and that really helps you keep your stuff from being all tangled. And it's literally so cheap because these are like a dollar fifty. I actually bought this shoe organizer um, my sophomore year. This one's like eight eighty eight, so it's really not that different. But I bought this one because it is extendable, so it gets like longer, and it's also stackable if you want to get more of them. It's so one thing that they have in like this kitchen area they're literally like a dollar 98 but they have these cute little like pop tab cups and you can use these on like your desk they have little, little color rubbers so you can do them like for your colors and there's kind of different sizes but I would put like your push pens and paper clips and staples and binder clips and stuff like this because that's like really cute desk decor definitely spend more money to get a good laundry basket and Walmart is definitely a good place to do that at you can do it at Bed Bath & Beyond or Target but Walmart's going to give you pretty much the same quality as a Target so just don't get a mesh pop-up one because they have these ones I actually have this one but in black they have cute little pattern ones you can get kind of like a grid style one and this bag comes out that way you can carry the bag to your laundry room and this is a really cool thing it's showing that it's used for like sewing stuff but honestly in this like top portion you can put like your jewelry and stuff and you can even put like your necklaces bracelets rings rings up here at your rings something like that it can be like a jewelry case you can also use this for school supplies if you want to put your paper clips push pins binder clips staples you know little stuff in these and then actually put like your post-its your note cards and other little like pens or pencils in these things because they're actually really big and they're only $7.97 I do believe so actually I might get one okay remember how we talked about that like metal thing at five below to hold those cubes so if you get one of those at five below you can get cuter little cubes at Walmart to actually make it look a little better because again they're universal sizes so they're gonna fit all of them but Walmart has a wider selection and what's a dorm room without a full body mirror guys oh these ones actually like go over your over your door that's nice all right that was it in Walmart and that's pretty much it for this video as well thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for coming along with me I hope this video is helpful so you got to see kind of some ideas on dorm room shopping on a budget I will let you know that I did film obviously as I said in the beginning I'm filming a kind of more off a budget kind of video so going to more expensive places so I will link that video down below as well that way you can get both sides of some dorm room shopping so please go check it out if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it and that way I can make more videos like it please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that little notification bell that way you get notified every time I make a new video I'm so excited for school to be starting I love school time I love school supply shopping I love dorm room hauls I love everything about it so I'm just super excited and I'm so happy I get to do this again with y'all this year it's it's literally my favorite time of the year <laughs> so let me know where y'all are gonna be shopping this summer for school supplies help each other down in the comments let each other know how much stuff is or where you get your best stuff because girls supporting girls I mean I'm hoping you watch my girl Adeline Moore and she's one of my favorite youtubers and her whole thing is girls supporting girls so help each other out down below let each other know where you're going where the best deals are so I will see y'all next time bye